<laughs> oh my god, it was so cold, but now it's so warm. Yeah. Kia ora everyone, how are you? We've just left, uh, we've just left Ohiwa Harbour and so we were harbour side and now we've arrived at uh, a gorgeous little property um, along a river which is something that we wanted to come to. We wanted river, we wanted river energy, bush energy so here we are. Take it away Nick. Wairata Station which is um, about 40 k's, 40 50 k's south of Apodiki and I'm in the drive through it's Apodiki to Gisborne and Wairika Gorge and it's amazing it's like oh, it is beautiful it's amazing it's sort of through. yeah the with the easy easy drive no hills just following the valley da -da 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 -da. And here we are in um, Wairata Station, which is a homestay. Farm uh, stay. Uh, yeah. Farm stay it is, and yeah, we're wetting up the river. Our hosts are Bob and Mary. Lovely people. Soul of the earth, hard working. They are. They so he, they have uh, sheep and farm. Well, they're farming sheep and cows. Sheep and beef. Sheep, sheep and beef. beef. And it's you can see the um, the terrain but took it straight up and down yeah hills here right eh? yeah and uh, wow yeah so hard working couple um, yeah so it's really good to to, to um, be in their presence and so what they've got here is it's a farm stay um, caravans can park up here there's a couple of chalets here as well um, but you're right alongside the river oh, and it's such a powerful river and it's something that we wanted to come to because we just want to relax and get some have a um, have some river time which is what we've which is what we've just done we've gone and we've had a real nice refreshing swim and now we're here relaxing looking at these beautiful ranges just us no crowds no weekend no weekend rush just us. Yeah. Right beside the river. Us and those sheep over there. <laughs> and cows. <laughs> it is good because you do need this sometimes. Like you feel very isolated. Well, no, I don't feel isolated. I feel at one with nature. There's no other noise around us. There's no people yelling and dry. there's no traffic. It's just we're in a paddock, basically, with a river. What more could you ask for? I'm looking at sheep right up in the hill there. Oh, my hell, I'm way up there. Yeah, oh. they're not goats, they're sheep. Jesus. So that is the hill, and I'll, you, that is the hill that we swum under. And it looks quite significant. It looks solid as a solid little monger walk
So these are kahikatea trees or kahikatoa and you can see that they're all growing in a stand of kahikatea and that's how they usually grow all together as one and usually they grow in um, a swampy swampy ground wet soil they like water When you see a stand of kaikatea, you can tell a lot about the environment. You can tell a lot about the environment by knowing that these trees like water, so there's always going to be water underground. And with this many trees here, yeah, it'll be swampy ground or wetland, water running under. So beautiful, so beautiful. They're like feet. So here's a it's a little drain, little water drain, and it would be full of watercress. a little taller. 